hi everyone in this video we'll discuss about uh, two way control of lamp and uh, three way control of lamp why we are calling this is a two way control of lamp and why we are calling three way control of lamp we'll see and we'll uh, discuss about the circuit and uh, we'll discuss about the truth table when a lamp will be on and when lamp will be off okay the first two way control of lamp so why it is name called two way control of lamp one lamp is operating or is controlling by using two switches here switch 1 and switch 2 right so two switches we are using to control the one lamp that's what this is called two way control of lamp so where we are using this type of lamping system so especially staircases so bottom of the staircase one switch and the top of the staircase one one more switch will be there right so you can also use this type of lamping system in uh, bedrooms right so we'll take uh, uh, two way control lamp so we can also call this lamping system is staircase lamp system suppose in examination explain the staircase lamping system means we have to explain about two way control of lamp so one lamp is operating by two switches that is switch 1 s1 and s2 the person is standing but person is standing uh, down of the staircase we'll example we'll take a staircase so uh, at a staircase we are installed to a control of lamp so person is standing at uh, uh, down of the staircase uh, so s s1 is at uh, s2 and uh, example we'll take uh, uh, Ah, uh, S two is at three uh, and uh, so he, the person is uh, um, S one is connected to position one here in two table. If you see position of S one, position of S two, and condition of lamp is there. So now, so the person is uh, uh, switch one connected at uh, position one and already switch two is position three. Circuit will be closed. Lamp is on right now a person is reaches to top of the staircase so is he, he moved switch 2 to uh, 4 switch 2 to 4 right now circuit is open lamp will be off there is second case now after after some time after some uh, some time one more uh, person one more person is coming so he is moved uh, switch 2 switch as uh, so, a switch 1 2 2 and uh, already uh, this one s1 is at 4 so lamp will be on he reaches he reaches to top of the staircase and uh, he changed switch 2 to 3 and lamp will be off so these are the four uh, different uh, cases for two way control of lamp you have to explain right each case you have to explain right okay so next uh, we will see the three way control of lamp so why it, why it is three way control of lamp so why uh, means here one lamp is operating three different switches here s1 s3 and s2 this is the lamp right so so that uh, so we are calling uh, this type of lamping system is called uh, three way control of lamping so uh, switch 1 is having two positions switch 2 is also having two positions and switch 3 is having four positions that is uh, a b c d positions right so if it is connected a b c d that is called straight connection so if it is connected a to d c to b it is called cross connection right now we will see how it will operate now the uh, intermediate switch s3 so we can call uh, that switch is intermediate switch this is s3 now switch 1 is position 1 switch 3 uh, switch 2 is a b c d position straight connection switch 2 is b lamp will be off now switch 2 is changed to 4 position lamp will be off now Now coming to the 
स्विच वन इज टू स्विच थ्री इज स्विच टू इज थ्री लैंप विल बी ऑफ सो स्विच स्विच टू इज चेंज टू फोर्थ पोजिशन लैंप विल बी ऑन राइट ना क्रॉस कनेक्शन सो क्रॉस कनेक्शन मीन्स इंटरमीडिएट स्विच इज कनेक्टेड ए टू डी सी टू बी नाउ स्विच वन इज पोजिशन वन स्विच टू इज पोजिशन थ्री लैंप विल बी ऑफ सर्क्यूट इज ओपन सर्क्यूट लैंप विल बी ऑफ नाउ स्विच वन इज पोजिशन वन स्विच टू इज पोजिशन फोर सो सर्क्यूट इज क्लोज लैंप विल बी ऑन ना स्विच वन इज पोजिशन टू स्विच टू इज पोजिशन थ्री लैंप इज ऑन सो सर्क्यूट इज क्लोज ना स्विच वन इज टू स्विच टू इज फोर सो सर्क्यूट इज ओपन दैन लैंप इज ऑफ कंडीशन सो दिस इज अबउट टू वे कंट्रोल एंड थ्री वे कंट्रोल ऑफ लैंपिंग सिस्टम सो नेक्स्ट वील सी अबउट फ्यूज Fuse. Why? Why it is uh, required? Fuse is a protective device. Whenever current is exceeds, current is uh, uh, below. Uh, current is exceeds. Uh, it will protect the uh, our home, our electrical equipment, right? So, a fuse is a simplest device used in electrical circuit to protect against overloading or fire hazards due to short circuit. so it is the simplest device uh, it will protect the all our home appliances from the uh, excess current right so characteristics of fuse material the material used for fuse wire must have the following characteristics so without these characteristics fuse cannot uh, operate right so it should be low melting point low ohmic losses high conductivity lower rate of duration so melting point means automatically it should melt whenever current exceeds the rated value so ohmic losses or uh, ohmic losses means resistance should be very less high conductivity high conduction conductivity should be more so it should not destroy from the environmental condition lower rate of deterioration right so that is about uh, fuse so next we will see the definitions of some uh, uh, related to fuse rated current fusing current Fusing factor. Rated current means it is a maximum current which fuse which a fuse can carry without undue heating or melting. It depends on the following factor. So maximum current fuse can carry without uh, heating or melting. That is called rated current. So what are the uh, factors? It depends. Permissible temperature rise of the contacts of the fuse holder and the fuse material and second one is degree of deterioration due to oxidation so these are these factors uh, fuse uh, uh, rated current will depend next one fusing current so fusing current means the minimum current at which the fuse melts is known as the fusing current so minimum uh, a little bit exceeds the rated value the fuse wire should be melted that is called fusing current it depends on the material uh, material characteristics length diameter cross sectional area of the fuse element and uh, and the types of enclosure used these are the depends on the fusing current next one fusing factor so based on those about two definitions of uh, fusing factor will depends the ratio of minimum fusing current to rated current is called fusing factor it is always greater than unity this is very very important sometimes they may ask in examinations so uh, like computer examinations so fusing factor is always greater than 1 less than 1 equal to 1 less than uh, one of the above so it is always greater than 1 so very very important um, so this is about uh, fusing uh, fuse right so next uh, uh, we will see about uh, mcb so mcb me means uh, mini circuit breaker in modern practices we are using mcb in place of fuse it looks good no fire hazards and uh, it will operate uh, it will operate automatically it will open automatically 
so it will not uh, gives fire that's what uh, modern nowadays all modern homes we are using mcb in place of fuse fuse is a uh, old device now mcb mini circuit breaker mcb is a neat and clean device which simply trips off itself whenever the current in the circuit exceeds whenever current exceeds or load exceeds load increases automatically it will trips off it it's rating on uh, on correct correcting the fault it can simply be switched on again so whenever it switched off automatically some circuit breakers which will it will switch on switch on automatically once fault is clear so mcb is not like that so automatically it will switch off trips off and whenever so trips off again we need to switch on manually that is called uh, that is about uh, mcb so next uh, we will see about uh, uh, what is meant by electric shock so what is the necessity of earthing those uh, topics we will see in next video so thank you please watch this videos and uh, comment your uh, opinion so by that we come to know so where we are and where you are uh, where what are the problems we are facing thank you